In my opinion, the extended abdomen of Juan Ramirez's kryptonite caddis sets this caddis apart from other imitations. Although it's not the first time a pattern has used knotted amnesia as an extended abdomen, its use on the kryptonite caddis makes this imitation truly stand out. My name is Lance, and today I'm tying a kryptonite caddis. To create the extended abdomen of the kryptonite caddis, I'll cut a long strand of 15 pound fluorescent green amnesia mullen filament from a spool. For simplicity purposes of this video, I am using a strand that is approximately 18 inches long because it is easier to tie the knot for the abdomen than the 12 inch strand I normally use. I'll grab it by the tip with the index finger and thumb of my bobbin hand. And after taking the bar of soap into my material hand, I'll pinch the monofilament to the top of the soap with the thumb of my material hand. Then pull the amnesia across the soap a few times. This lubricates the monofilament for the knot that is about to be tied into it. Now tie a 14 turn overhand knot into the amnesia by creating a circle with the monofilament and pinching the line where it intersects. There shouldn't be very much excess line coming out of one end of the hoop and about half the line coming out of the other. Wrap the long end over the line and through the hoop and back over the top 14 times. Once 14 wraps have been made, Pull both ends of the knot as tight as you can. Wrap each monofilament end around a separate pair of scissors and pinch the wrapped line and pull on the scissors to gain leverage on the knot as it is tightened to its final shape. After the knot has been tied, trim one end of the amnesia about an inch to an inch and a half long and cut the other end at the tip of the opposite side of the knot. Place the knotted amnesia into the jaws of the vise so that the bulb sits at the front of the jaws. Apply a bit of thin clear cure goo all around the bulb with a bodkin and then cure it with a UV light. Then clear cure goo cures sticky, so I'll brush and then cure a bit of clear cure goo hydro to the bulb. Now that the extended abdomen has been created, feed a size 16 TMC2488 that has a black 332nd inch bead on it into the jaws of the vise. Then start some 8 dot unit thread behind the bead with a jam knot. After the thread tag has been cut from the fly, Place the tip of some medium black holographic tinsel into the back of the bead and secure it to the shank with a few wraps of thread. Once the tinsel has been tied down, wrap the tinsel down the shank to just past the bend and then back to the bead. Tie off the tinsel with a few wraps of thread and trim the excess from the fly. For added durability, coat the tinsel with some clear cure goo hydro or some other very thin UV glue and then blast the fly with a UV light. To tie the abdomen to the fly, trim the amnesia tip to a bit over an eighth of an inch long and place a dab of super glue on the trim tip. Place this tip into the back of the bead and use thread to secure it to the top of the fly. For the collar, select a natural done CDC feather that has long fibers and has a good length to it. This one is about an inch and a half long. Spread the fibers straight out from the stem and place them into some sort of magic tool. I am using a large metal binder clip. When clipped, the stem should be parallel with the edge of the clip and be sticking a bit out of the clip. Then, on the clip side of the feather, cut the fibers as close to the stem as possible. Put the clamp aside and use a bodkin to split the thread in two to create a loop. Place a finger of your material hand into the loop to keep it open. Remove it when the clip of clamp CDC is placed into the loop. Unclip the CDC from the clamp and begin rewinding the spool of thread. The CDC will twist up on the loop as the thread is rewound on the spool of thread. When the CDC has been corded up, wrap it around the shank to create a collar. Sweep the CDC fibers toward the back of the fly as the CDC noodle is wrapped around the shank.
Now that the collar has been created, twist a bit of dark hair's ear crystal dub to the thread and wrap it up the shank to the bead. Repeat this until a robust thorax has been created on the fly. After the thorax has been finished, apply a bit of head cement to the thread hanging below the fly. Complete a couple three turn whip finishes through the fly and cut the thread. Use velcro or some sort of dubbing brush to pick out the dubbing fibers and to brush the CDC out. Then break the CDC fibers to a desired length with your fingernails to complete the kryptonite caddis. The kryptonite caddis is an awesome caddis pattern that is pretty easy to tie. Go get a spool of amnesia monofilament and tie up a couple dozen of these cool little patterns for your fly box. To see my other fly tying demonstrations, check out the playlist at the bottom left of the screen. Or select the video to the right of the screen to watch something YouTube recommends for my channel. Click the icon sitting between the two videos, or click the subscribe button below to stay updated of when I upload new content. Thanks for watching. Now, go feed your vice.